Hey ladies, today I'm going to be talking to you about our new GF app updates and I am so excited to share this with you because the Glamour Farms app is our staff's favorite way to shop and we know that many of you love it and we know that this new update is going to make those of you who've had it before love it even more and those of you who haven't yet experienced it are definitely going to love it now. It is so user friendly, so easy to navigate and we just can't wait to show you more. So I have gone ahead and downloaded the Glamour Farms app in my own app store and I pulled it up. You'll come to a login screen and you can log in whichever way that you normally will log into your Glamour Farms account. And if you don't have an account with us yet, you can go ahead and create that. We always suggest to use your Facebook login. It's the easiest and it helps you shop the most places, but you can always log in with an email account if you'd prefer. So when you come into our app, this is the home screen and there's a lot of things going on here. So I'm gonna go ahead and break down different parts of this page and that way you guys can easily navigate it on your own. On the top right hand corner, we have our shopping cart. You can go ahead and click on that. At this time, I don't have anything in my shopping cart so it's empty, but if I click start shopping, that just lets me go ahead and open up um, the home page, which I was already on, and I can go ahead and add things to my cart. The next area is our search bar. You can search for any SKU or any name of a product. If I would scroll down, you could see that first item is SKU 15043 High Rise Distress Super Flare, and I could just go ahead and click on that search bar, type that in, and then hit enter or hit the search and it'll pull it up. The next area is this filter button. The filter button can be really useful, but I prefer to not use it because it will obviously limit what you're looking at and I wanna be able to see everything that we offer. So the first area is this only show in stock items and this is a really great option. If you use this, if you click and it, now it's selected, that means that you will only see things that we have in stock and that means that you won't be able to wait list for anything. So I'm gonna unclick that. When you shop with Glimmer Farms, you have the ability to wait list and pre-authorize for an item and we restock items often. So limiting yourself to only seeing in stock items, you'll never be able to wait list and you are essentially missing out on items that maybe are out of stock, but will come back in stock. And so I would just hate for you to miss out on that. So personally, I choose to keep that unselected so that way I can just see everything that we have. And if I find something that I want and it's out of stock, I can just go ahead and wait list preauthorize for that. And then I will be able to grab that later when it comes back in stock. I'll talk more about the wait list and preauthorizing later, but that is just um, where you would click to show only the in stock items. As you can see, we then have the sizes that you can select to just filter a specific size. I also don't select any of these because while I could, you know, limit my search to maybe X smalls through mediums, and then if I wanted to, I could clear in the top right. I choose not to because I know that there are some styles that I'd rather have a tighter fit of or I'd rather have a looser fit of. Some styles are missy, so maybe I'd want it to be, maybe I'd want to size down because maybe I'm a smaller person and maybe if it's a contemporary style, maybe I'd want to size up because it's a little too tight. And so I personally like to just leave this whole area clear so that way I can find each item. I can go to each product and I can decide the fit that I want. But if you do have a specific size that you always buy and that you don't want to try to figure out per item, you can go ahead and place that in this area. I'm gonna go ahead and click the back arrow and go back to our home screen. The next area is our subcategories. And you can scroll through these subcategories and these at the beginning, these will actually change. Sometimes we'll have different collections that are only available for that day, but you can scroll through and see things that are, are on our app always, like our new arrivals restock, Missy. You can go ahead and scroll all the way over. Sometimes we'll have a sale tab sale and that's where you find that sale tab. And you can just go through and look through all of these different categories. If you click on one of these, say I click on Missy and I'm looking through the Missy items and then I decide I wanna go back to our home screen. The way that you do that is you simply re-click Missy. So you're like, you're unselecting it. I re-click that Missy button. And now I'm back to our home screen. The next section is our shop previous lives. And this is probably the biggest change that's happened to the app. And we are thrilled about it. You can scroll through, see all of our different lives. You can see what day it was at, what time. Guys, it, we love this feature and we know that you will too. And I'm gonna go ahead and click on one of these lives and I'm gonna walk you through what happens in a live. All right, ladies. So now we're going to be moving on and talking about our 
live video section. So I went ahead and I clicked on that first live. It has opened up and I can see now, um, I've gone ahead and stopped it so that way you don't hear Elizabeth talking and you can still hear me. So I have Elizabeth pulled up. This is on a recorded live that happened last night and she is gonna go through, obviously, just like she would on a normal live, but I'm gonna talk through the different aspects of this video. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and click play and jump ahead to wherever she scanned a product in, so that way you guys can see um, more of what's happening. Hold on one second. Alrighty, so I'm gonna pause it right there. So as you can see, I have this item sold 101 pulled up. And when you're watching our videos, whether it be in real time or whether you're watching a live that's been now recorded and it's uploaded to our app, there are lots of ways that you can utilize this. And I cannot express how great these updates are. And so I hope that you guys will use them as much as you can. So the first option, we're going to start at the very, very top. Whenever they scan in an item, you have an option of buying it right there by clicking on the buy button. And when you click on that, it opens up a little half panel where you can choose your size and you can add that to your cart. If you scroll, you can see all of the information, the photos. I can click on a photo. I can swipe through the photo. I mean, it's super user friendly. And I'm gonna go ahead and add this to my cart. And I'm not gonna click on this now because it does have some of my personal information on it. But if I click check out now, or I click that shopping cart in the top right of that little sub panel, that will actually let me check out in the app while the live is going on, which has never been able to happen before. Um, I know that sometimes the girls will do giveaways in the middle of a live. They'll say, hey, go check out, and then we're gonna pick winners. Now you can check out while the live is still going on, or if you pause this video because you're watching it later, you don't even have to leave the video. It's already right there. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and click that back shop button just to show you some more things. Um, and it says in this video, I'm gonna show you how I got to that. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually click on the main part of the screen so that way I can refresh it. That way I can show you guys how we got there. So another option we have is obviously the pause and play button. And then what actually just popped up was that shop all. I'm gonna click on that. And you can see everything that's in this video, super handy. So if you knew that something was going live tonight that you were interested in or last night, um, you can go ahead, if, it's, if you're watching this after the video has gone live, um, you can click on any of these items. And whenever I click on the item, it will actually pull up the point in the video that that item was scanned in I have now clicked this item and that's gonna pull up this jacket that Elizabeth is talking about. And you can now shop that if you'd like. And like I said, you can click through any of these items and when you click on it, it will actually bring up that point in the video when the item was scanned in and you can learn more about it. You can hear how they describe it. You can hear all the things that we talk about in lives, super user friendly. The next option of course is that shopping cart. I am not going to click on that because that's where my my personal information is housed, but if you click on that, it opens up a half panel where you can check out right there. And then the other option that's really great is the share button. I'm gonna go ahead and click that. And this is super handy whenever our girls will do giveaways for those who have shared the live. All you'll have to do is just go ahead and click Facebook and you it will share to your Facebook. If that option does not pull up for you, what you'll have to do is you'll have to click this more button, add Facebook, done and now you can share it to Facebook. So I'm gonna go ahead and exit out of that. And that is the main structure of the live video. This, of course, like I said, is a pre-recorded live. So if it was a actual real-time live live, of course you would not be able to, you know, move this panel across. That would not be possible because it wouldn't be live yet. I'm gonna show you what it looks like to watch in a real-time live. I am now on the app when there is a live going on. As you can see, if you open up our app, it's going to say we are live. Tap to join us on the bottom. And then also that shop live sales, you can see that it says it's streaming now and it's live now. I can either click on the shop live sale, that first one, or I can click on that tap to join us. I'm going to just go ahead and click on that bottom part and it's going to open up. I'm going to turn on my volume so that way you can make sure that you're hearing me. Caitlin is talking. You can go ahead and comment on this video and write in whenever she's talking to you or you can go ahead and comment the sold 102. Some of the same options will still be available as they are with a pre-recorded live. Like you can go ahead and click that buy in the top right corner and you can add things to your cart. You can also click the shop button in the bottom left corner and it will work through the video. 
Now, at this point in the video, these are all the items that have been scanned in. So that is the difference is that if an item hasn't been scanned in yet, you will not be able to purchase it yet. Whereas if you watched this video after it is live, you can see all of the items. So you can go ahead and scroll through any of those and you can, of course, click on it and you can go ahead and add them to your cart. The same things apply as far as sharing the video and adding a heart. And that's really fun. But of course you can share like we've talked about before. And as you can see, I have my iPad open and I have my Glamour Farms MacBook open, but you can go ahead and share that to Facebook if we're doing a giveaway, or if you just wanna share the great deals that we have going on every day. As you can see, you can scroll through all the comments that other ladies are leaving, and it's super, super easy to follow along. So hopefully that's an easy tutorial. Like I said, it is very similar to the pre-recorded version, but there's just a few changes just to note whenever you're watching when a live is truly live. All right, so let's move on to our recently added items, and you can go through and look at all these different things. I am gonna go ahead and click on this SKU 15043 High Rise Distressed Super Flare, and I love these jeans. If I go ahead and click on it, you can swipe through and see some pictures. As you guys can see, I tapped on that photo, it enlarged it, and I can scroll down and I can see all the product information. I can select my size can see what's available still. I can either add it to my cart. This one is still available. Or if I go down to a waitlist item, I can go ahead and add that to my waitlist. And let's go ahead and talk about this now. So this is um, where you can pre-authorize. And when you pre-authorize for an item and when you waitlist for an item, they, they work hand in hand together. Now we have this pop-up that comes up and it says, would you like to pre-authorize a card that you can automatically purchase this item as soon as it becomes available? Waitlisting for an item is basically saying, hey, Glamour Farms, I really like this item. I see that it's out of stock. When it comes back in stock, please place it in my cart. And at that time, I will decide if I wanna purchase it or not. When you pre-authorize for an item, it's similar, but it is a little bit different in the way that you say, Glamour Farms, I'm sure that I want this item. When it comes back in stock, go ahead and charge my card and I want it. And you don't have to do anything. The system takes care of it for you. You go ahead and order it. It is so easy. You can remove an item from your waitlist. So I'm gonna go ahead and click no so I can show you how to do this. On your waitlist, I could go back and I could choose to pre-authorize with that blue button right there, or I could remove this from my cart. I'm gonna go ahead and remove it from my waitlist. I'm gonna say delete. I'm going to head back to our homepage, which is that shop panel on the bottom left. This is the last item we were looking at. I'm gonna go ahead and click that shop button again. It's gonna bring us all the way back home. All right, so now that we're back on the home page, I'm gonna show you guys what it will look like if you look at a specific item. This could either be from the home page or from one of those subcategories if you search for it. Nonetheless, if you click on it, you have a few different options and a few different views. So the first one is Taylor has recorded a video of her talking about the blouse and the fit and the measurements of everything. You can also swipe over and see the images that are available of that item. Now. Maybe you find an item that has appeared in a live before. And if that's the case, whenever you pull that item up, it will say featured live on the bottom part and it will start to load is pulling up the point where this item was in a live. It was in a featured live. I have it muted so that way you can't hear it and you can hear me. Our software has clipped this small portion out of when the item was scanned in and you can listen to her explain it from that live. You can also, of course, swipe over and you can see more photos and then you can scroll down and you can read the description and you can select your size. So we're back on the home screen now. We're gonna move over to the account tab. So the account page is super important and you're gonna wanna make sure that you understand that in case you're gonna need any links for anything in the future or you wanna check anything on your own account. So the account page starts off with your information. I'm not gonna click on these items because it has my own personal information on here, but if you click on the order history, this will allow you to see all of the orders that you've placed in the past. And you can actually click on the order number and it will pull up all of the items that were in that order. You can also change your email. I will note that we often have people ask about changing their payment method. You can change your payment method at checkout, but you have to have something in your cart. So it's not available on the account page. You actually have to put something in your cart and then you can edit your payment and your shipping information. So that is not found here, but you can change your email address here. The next spot is the notifications and you can enable those by clicking that right now. It says disabled. You'll just go ahead and click on that disabled button and it will enable it. 
I'm not going to select this right now because it will take me to the settings of my phone and I wanna stay in our app. I'm gonna go ahead and click cancel. The reason why you'd wanna click that enable button is because it will notify you every time that we have a new arrival or a restock, go live in the app. It's super helpful, especially if you have seen a sneak peek an item and you're waiting for us to launch that item whenever you enable notifications you will get a push notification this item is live in the app and you can go ahead and purchase it so i'm going to move down to our links area we have our app policy information to contact us shipping information our return policy our gift cards also our faq page the shopping made easy tutorials that's actually where you find this video house this is a link to our youtube playlist has a ton of helpful tips and tricks videos. Also the GF style tutorials, super fun. That is where our ladies have created videos of them doing their hair, their makeup, just different life hacks. You can find all of those there. In the past, you'd have to find those on Facebook. Now you can find them all here. These are links to our YouTube. And of course, the next part is one that you're really gonna wanna make sure that you know, which is our share and earn credit. When you share and earn credit, that means that you are going to share a coupon code with a new Glamour Farms customer and you're gonna earn credit back. So how that works is you will actually just click on that and you'll have the option of how you want to share your code. And you can see that I have several options here. I'm gonna go ahead and select to send it through a message and it pops up a text message kind of template and that's my coupon code. I can share this with a Glamour Farms first time customer and they will receive 20% off their first purchase when they use that code. And in return, I will get 20% of their order in account credit. You can also share that through email or Facebook, any of those ways you can earn credit and it's super cool. And the last option of course, is you can log out. Well, thank you guys so much for tuning in and I'm so excited for you to take a look at our new app. We love it and we hope that you love it as well. And of course, if you have any questions at all, you can contact Annie, our customer support at contact at glamourfarms.com. Thank you.